Dennis, aka Def Noodles, uploaded a video titled today that his life has been threatened. Now, Dennis being the professional victim that he is, this really isn't no surprise. You know, a man with a scooter stopped by his place of public business, which he has been promoting and posting online. Uh, this is where he has his rap battles, where he had his epic failure of a live stream uh, roughly about a week and a half, two weeks ago, um, which got him suspended on Twitch because one of the <laughs> contestants said a, uh, a gamer, a naughty gamer word. But what you're about to watch in this video is a man on a scooter comes up to a public place of business, which Def Noodles has been promoting, telling people to show up, come there. They, he comes up, he, he arrives on a scooter, scooter. The guy's name is Salvo Pancakes, and he makes a whole 19 vi minute video about how threatened he feels, despite in the video saying that he doesn't feel threatened and he doesn't feel harassed. So, so this is him right here. You can see he's coming up on a scooter. Outside Def Noodles' place, I was invited. Hi, Def. It's common courtesy to give you. Okay, he was not invited. I had no idea this guy was going to stop by our office. And, you know, there's a way that things work. Like, yes, we do have a comedy club. Yes, the sign open was at the front of the club. Your guest is a tour. Can I have a tour of the club that I'll be performing at tomorrow? I'm performing tomorrow, Def. I want the tour. So yeah, that's where it That's where it ends. He essentially goes away. Ironically, he later claimed he waited outside my office for 45 minutes and said that I was cowering inside or something to that effect, which is not true. I mean, I it's a pretty big space. I was in the back. But here's the thing, Dennis, you can't go on social media. You can't be a, a, a comedian and entertainer and tell people pull up to my place of business. Speak to me directly. If you tell people to pull up at your place of business, a place that is public knowledge, and then get all cowardly and make a shit tier response video to a guy on a scooter who literally is there for literally less than like a minute. <laughs> you have a comedy club. There's signs all over the door that says it's a comedy club. He then goes on this rant about how unprofessional it is and how people don't do this in the business. You just don't show up to a business unannounced, uninvited. Def Noodles, do you remember when you went to, uh, what was that? The, um, you did a live stream. Uh, a video with uh, the Ace family, uh, a camera face to face. You l you l sat in line for several hours just so you could talk to um, Ace family directly and put them on the spot. Yet here you are. Okay, let's go meet the Ace family. I have finally made it into the warehouse where all of my dreams would be fulfilled, where I would finally learn all the tips, tricks, and uh, ways to become the top scammer in the country from the top scammer in the world himself. Oh, Austin McGroom. All I had to do was wait about three and a half hours. Can we take Instagram? Instagram live? All right. How you doing? I'm a big fan, dude. Huge like fan. Little, like a little star. Oh, yeah, I love it. <laughs> so I, I want to ask him some life advice. Yeah. How do I learn to scam as good as you? Scam? He didn't come to. And build a comedy club using uh, my following and, you know, the. The, the videos that I make, it, it's still, uh, if you're a talent, you usually don't show up to the comedy club middle of the day demanding to enter it, filming everything, and, you know, essentially yelling out the uh, outside of it. You know, this is how you get blacklisted. Like, if he did this at the comedy store, they would probably, I mean, no joke, like, security would probably kick his ass whining and bitching and moaning over somebody doing the same thing to you, but they didn't even interact with you. They were just outside your place of business where you're posting constantly and telling people to pull up to your place of business. All talk, no action, and yet here you are whining again. Wow, what a surprise. Mind you, the guy on the scooter, Salvo Pancakes, guess what? 
He was invited. You're all on Twitter interacting and saying, come to my place of business. You're invited. You're going to be here. And then you puss out. This is getting so embarrassing. I don't even really know how to respond. Everything that people do is you know, okay, Every, there's there's no there's no boundaries, there's no nothing until it happens to you. That's the gist of this video. Talk about boundaries and how people shouldn't violate those boundaries. But if you violate those boundaries on other people, that's okay. You have a person who stopped by to ask for a tour of a place that he was invited to perform at. And I don't know if you're aware of this, but he actually helped sell your tickets. And believe it or not, I was actually going to show up at this event that's happening. I think it's uh, either next week, no, today or next week, I think. But having kiddos it makes it really difficult to just to you know drop everything and you know fly to la so maybe next time but just last week you were telling people to you know uh you'd love to have a barrel of a shotgun <laughs> to their face and uh talking about street fighting with cavos uh on youtube another creator uh challenge him to a street fight outside your place of business this was literally you just two days ago oh my god mr salvo pancakes arrives on a scooter i'm a professional victim my employees don't want to be involved your employees don't have to be involved he didn't threaten your employees had nothing to do with your employees he was asking you deaf noodles not your employees you've been tweeting consistently over the last few days pull up or shut up somebody did and you cried like a little baby bitch and speaking of your employees mr dennis moron one of your employees announced that he was going to assault this guy salvo pancakes this is so unprofessional asking for a tour of a place of business that you invited somebody to come to but your employee threatening to assault somebody at an event that you invited to the guy too that doesn't get addressed okay man okay no place in this video that you show dipshit did salvo pancakes threaten you you and your employee steven who by the way i don't even i didn't know who steven was until literally yesterday when my uh fiance was like i'm blocked by the steven guy with death noodles i'm like who's steven and then i went to go to his profile i guess that's his, your business partner or whatever or comedian or what i don't know fucking i don't care and i was blocked by the guy i never interacted with steven ever Ever. I didn't even know who he was. And I'm, it's, it, one of my favorite things on social media is when I get blocked by somebody I've never interacted with. It's like, holy moly, dude. Just yesterday, the day before, you told Cavos that you want to pop out one of his eyeballs in a street fight. <laughs> Not just that, but the whole video, out of 19 minutes and 30 seconds, he lit Death Noodles literally repeats himself over and over and over and over. He keeps saying the same thing for 19 minutes straight. It's, it's unreal at this point. And I'm just going to say for the record, Salvo Pancakes is absolutely hysterical. He just came out of the blue randomly in the last few months, and he's so funny. I've just never seen somebody react to things that are not serious so seriously in every instance and that's what deaf noodles is doing here and has been doing and just continues to keep doing all in all deaf noodles shut the fuck up stop telling people to pull up or shut up because you're encouraging that and then when somebody does pull up you cry like a bitch I don't say that phrase very. I don't, you know, usually you call people bitches. But you're advertising to public roasts, right? And if you play enough stupid games, you're just going to win stupid prizes. Also, you might want to get rid of the open sign on the fucking front of your door, you moron. Because that means it's a place of business and that you're open. You didn't even try to open the door. Anyway, shitty clickbait for fucking 20 minutes.